Oh, I suppose I need an intro. This is an intro. Let's get on with it. Yeah, yeah, have a grubby MG. We all know that by now. So I've pulled the interior out, uh, cleaned all the carpets, picked the better carpet out of the parts car, gave a little wipe down, and I put some deodorant on the uh, firewall under felt just in case, and found one of the last locals to be evicted out of this, uh, this car. It's the only spider I've seen so far. And I don't know where he went after this, but he would have smelled great. I'm sure his other spider friends would love him now. So I put the new underfelt in and put the carpets back in. And then the seats back in. Checked all the connections for the airbags for the seats. And uh, the airbag light went off. And then I got to drag out the little portable interior cleaner, which I'd bought on special. And uh, someone else requested feet picks, weirdo. But any, there you go, that's as much fan service as I'm going to get into. So I sprayed this down with some uh, fabric cleaner and then uh, the little brush attachment and got in there and cleaned the, the last of the the schmutz and whatever else was in this, this seat. No one to think about it. Uh, but it cleaned up really, really well. And the end result came together very, very good. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. So there's still some cleaning to do. Uh, next job was to change the spark plugs, pull them all out. They were in quite... Good condition, a little bit fouled up from running on crap fuel. So these new plugs got gapped, and they got gapped hard. So one of the jobs to do was replace the sticking throttle body with this new aluminium replacement. Uh, it's much better in that it's larger in diameter, and the old one has more holes in it than the Brexit agreement. So the new one seals much better. Uh, it helps the engine idle as well as presumably making it go a bit better. Uh, that last part remains to be seen, but you can see just how bad the original one was. So with the car washed, cleaned, put back together, ready for its rego inspection. Uh, I drove it down and it looks quite nice. It passed with flying colours, no issues, and I figured I'd do my first drive and talk about the creature comforts in this car. So, oh, no I won't, I'm going to move out the way, this guy wants to reverse into me. So move around the corner. Okay, so first of all, there is very little knee room for people with long legs. Uh, the steering column is not adjustable. But apart from that, everything in the car works. There is one quirk where, where the leather gaiter around the handbrake actually lifts the handbrake a little bit and keeps the dash light on. That took me a, a minute or two to work that out. But uh, apart from that, the car is really easy to drive. It handles quite similar to an early MX-5. Uh, some of the dash surround stuff is pretty poor quality and uh, just hasn't lasted the age, uh, particularly with the Australian heat. The Kenwood stereo still works, it's got the six stack CD, everything in there is a go. The biggest problem for me is I'm losing my hair. Also there's almost no headroom with the roof up. The car, I didn't get to fix the paint or the, the minor dents along the side, but the car has come out spectacularly. It is really clean, it drives beautifully. Uh, there's pretty much nothing left to sort out on the car. The interior is in really good order now. There's uh, still some things I want to tidy up on it. There's one final clean of the carpets and uh, just a general vacuum and tidy up. So it's actually turned out really nicely and it is so much fun to drive. But as soon as I got it ready, we went into a COVID lockdown and I wasn't able to do a whole lot of anything between work, parenting and, and just everything else. So it sat unloved under a cover for about a month. So when I went to move it and actually enjoy driving it, I discovered some bastard had slashed the roof to break into the car, which was unlocked anyway, you stupid pricks. So they've slashed it right through, including the, the retaining strap and everything. So I had a rage quit, advertised it, and someone's going to come and pick it up tomorrow. So I didn't get to use it anywhere near as much as I wanted to. And it's a real shame because it is a lot of fun to drive. But that's it. The end for now. That does mean I can move on to the next project.